What is acid proof stainless steel? Well, acid proof is not exactly a scientific definition. It's more like a nickname which we've given to the stainless steel if it contains between two and three percent molybdenum. Why? Because already in the 1920s, about a small decade after the invention of stainless steel, some people found out that adding 2% molybdenum to the stainless steel actually enhanced the corrosion resistance in acid media. Actually, it enhances the corrosion resistance in almost any thinkable media. Uh, in the kitchen and elsewhere where we don't really need corrosion resistance, then we use the standard 3 or 4 class, 18 chromium, 8% nickel, for that reason called 1808. And we use it for the kitchen sink, we use it for the, some of the cutlery, the forks, the spoons and so. Uh, but in industry, where conditions are much harsher, it's much more common to use the stainless, uh, you can say the uh, acid-proof stainless steel. For instance, in dairies, in pharmaceutical plants, the 316 class with between 2 and 3% molybdenum has become the kind of standard. Why? Has the yogurt become more sour than it used to be in the 60s or 70s? No, not at all. But the disinfectants and the cleaning agents we're using in the production have become much more aggressive. And for that reason, we like to have the extra corrosion resistance in the 316 class. We have all the nice mechanical properties like stretchability, bendability, and so in the 316 class, they're completely equal to the 304 class, but the corrosion resistance is just better. There's a lot of misunderstanding because it's called acid proof. A lot of people believing that you only need to use the acid proof stainless steel if you have very acid conditions. But for instance, this elbow, it's meant for being installed in a dairy plant, which is not acid in any way, but it contains a lot of chloride, sometimes high temperature and so, and that's really where the acid proof stainless steel is better. Especially combating what you call uh, stress corrosion cracking. This is a very, very fine example where the tube here is made of acid proof stainless steel and the lower part, the elbow, is made of the standard 3 or 4 class with 18 chromium, 8% nickel. And it's very, very easy to see that the acid proof stainless steel lasts so much better, no corrosion at all, where the other ones completely crack to pieces. But this applies for virtually every single media, every temperature, every chloride content. The acid proof is just better than the standard. Highly recommended, and the price difference is not really that big, especially not for mounted equipment. So acid proof stainless steel is an austenitic stainless steel, 2 to 3% molybdenum, but it's a nickname, it's not scientific. <laughs>